Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how to remove the infrared filter from an old webcam. Removing the infrared filter allows more light from the infrared spectrum to enter the sensor, which is ideal for amateur astrophotography or just for fun. The webcam I'm demonstrating on today is a Logitech QuickCam Pro 3000. It's pretty old now, I bought it back in January 2001. Like most webcams of the time, it has a CCD lens, whereas many of the newer modern webcams have CMOS light sensors. The main difference between CCD and CMOS is CCD sensors process all the light on the side of the sensor chip, as opposed to CMOS, which have many little transistors beside each pixel. This means that CMOS cameras often have a lower brightness sensitivity as the transistors get in the way and block out some of the light. Anyway, Let's get this infrared filter out. I'm going to start by removing the outer casing and taking the magnifying lens off. It's this thing. Okay, taking the camera chip out. Take off the magnifying lens. From here you should be able to identify the infrared filter, it's just down there. Covers the light sensor and reflects light. You might notice it's a bit bluish in color, but it'll reflect red light. To take it out on this cam, I'm going to need to remove the molded casing holding it there, just this thing, just being held on by these two screws at the back, just there and there. screw them. I think I'm using a 1.4mm screwdriver. Should be good for all your electronic chip needs. There you can just see the infrared filter sitting in the casing. Just pop that out. So that little lens blocks extra infrared light from going into the camera lens. Now put this back on. Be very careful during these steps not to damage the light sensor or get dust or fingerprints on it. This might damage your camera, the picture quality. Anyway, now the filter's been removed, you can go about reassembling the camera. I won't be putting the ball casing, this thing, back on because I'm I'm going to need to fashion a custom housing that fits into my telescope. But anyhow, there you have it. Your regular webcam should now show much of the infrared light spectrum. Have fun! Thanks for watching.